So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of the Instagram Feed Pro WordPress plugin and show you some of the things that it can do. First, I'm gonna show you just how quick and easy it is to set up. So I've just installed the plugin. I'm gonna to go to the Instagram Feed menu on the left. Then click on the big blue button to connect your Instagram account. Once it's connected, you can scroll down and grab the Instagram feed shortcode from the bottom of the page. You can then paste that into any page, post, or widget anywhere on your site where you want the feed to show up. And there you have it. It really is that easy. So you'll see in a moment when I go through the customized settings that every part of the feed is completely customizable from the appearance to the layout right down to which specific posts are displayed. To view a post, I can click on a photo and launch a light box. And on the side of the photo, you'll see the caption and any comments, along with the option to share the post on different social media networks or view it directly on Instagram. The plugin also supports carousel posts and has full HTML5 video support for playing videos directly in the light box. To load more posts, just use the load more button at the bottom of the feed. The feed is also completely responsive and so will adapt to the size of your screen. It's completely touchscreen compatible and works on all different mobile devices. So I'll go back to the settings page now and show you what else the plugin can do. So you can choose to connect as many different Instagram accounts as you like. So I'm just gonna connect another Instagram account and you can either add these accounts to your main Instagram feed, which combines their posts into a single feed, or you can display them in separate feeds by just following the directions here. In addition to displaying posts from user IDs, you can also display posts based on hashtags, either single hashtags or multiple by separating them by commas. You can display single posts, location IDs, and coordinates. And there's a little helper tool here to help you add coordinates. If you want to combine multiple feeds into one single feed, such as a user feed and a hashtag feed, then this is really easy too. Just follow the directions here. So for now, I'm going to display posts from a user ID. And if you scroll down, I can select how often I want the plugin to check Instagram for new posts. And I've already shown you how easy it is to display your feed using the shortcode. So now I'm just gonna show you some of the options built into the plugin and just how easy it is to customize. So there are settings for the width, height, and background color of your feed. You can choose from one of our built-in layouts, grid, carousel, masonry, or highlight. Grid is the default layout. Carousel is a slideshow of posts with options to choose the number of rows, loop type, and more. Masonry layout displays posts in their original uncropped aspect ratio, allowing for varying heights. And the highlight layout allows you to display certain posts at twice the size to highlight them in your feed. It's gonna be done using a set pattern based on post IDs or by highlighting posts that contain specific hashtags. And you can find an example of these different layouts in the Instagram demos on our website. You can also change the number of photos on both desktop and on mobile the number of columns on both desktop and also on mobile, along with the padding around each post. You can choose to display a header, the type of header to display and its size, along with the content to include. You can also style the buttons at the bottom of the feed, the colors and text used for each button, and whether to load more posts automatically when you reach the bottom of the feed. And the same for the follow button too. You can choose the type of post to display and whether to disable the pop-up light box. There are styling options for when you hover over an image and you can choose which information to display. You can select to display the caption and set a maximum character length for that caption. And you can also style the like and comment icons and choose whether to display comments for a post inside the pop-up light box. You can also filter or moderate your posts. So you can choose to remove posts from your feed which contain specific words or hashtags, or you can choose to only show posts in your feed which contain specific words or hashtags. You can also moderate your feeds to pick and choose which posts to include. You can do this manually by specifying post IDs or blocking certain users, or by using the visual moderation system included in the plugin, 
which allows you to easily pick and choose which photos to hide or show. So with this feature, you can choose to easily remove certain posts in your feed, or if you want to only show select posts, then you can choose to do that instead. You can also choose to block certain users, which is really useful for public feeds like hashtag or location feeds, where there are posts from lots of different users. You can also choose to only show posts from certain users too. There are also sections here for your own custom CSS or JavaScript, along with some advanced settings. So now that we've customized the feed, if I go back and view the page, you'll see that the different customizations have been applied. We have a large header, 40 photos in a five column masonry layout with the images in their original aspect ratios. And you can see that the hover effect customizations and the button styles have been applied. So another great feature of the plugin is you can display multiple different feeds either on the same page or throughout your site and apply unique settings to each feed. So by default, each feed will use the settings from the plugins configure and customize pages but you can override any of these settings for a specific feed by using the built-in shortcut options. And if you visit the display your feed tab, you'll see a table of shortcut options that you can use to change the settings for each specific feed. You can also click on any option on the settings pages to show the relevant shortcut option. So if I go over to my WordPress widgets page, I can use the built-in Instagram feed widget and paste in a few shortcodes. So this will add three additional feeds to my sidebar. The first is a hashtag feed for the hashtag puppy. It's a default grid layout in three columns and a height of 300 pixels. We've also changed the header style, chosen to only display the username on hover and removed any padding around the posts. The next is a user feed for a different Instagram account. It's a carousel feed with one column and we've disabled the header and light box. The last one is a carousel, but three columns and two rows with the arrows disabled. So if I go back and view the page, you'll see that three additional feeds have been added into the sidebar. The first is the hashtag balloon feed in a two column grid layout. And you can see that as a height has been added, then a scroll bar has been applied. The second is a carousel of posts from another Instagram account. There's no header, and as the light box is disabled, then the images link directly to Instagram. The third is a three column carousel in two rows from the main user account. You can do this for as many feeds as you like and customize each one uniquely using the shortcut options. So hopefully this gives you an idea of just how powerful and customizable this plugin is and demonstrates some of the things that you can do with it. Make sure to try out your own ID or hashtag in the demo on our website and if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch either on our website, Facebook page or using at Smash Balloon on Twitter.